What is up, guys? It is Christ, and we are back with the final Disturbed Evolution uh, song. I've been reviewing the Deluxe Edition. There's one more that I may upload. It's the Sound of Silence Live, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I definitely enjoy this song, but I know it's pretty dumped on in the uh, music industry. People don't really like the cover. I uh, personally am a huge fan of the cover, but I know that it's not particularly liked outside of uh, some fans. Um, and the mainstream people, it's mainly the, the core disturbed people and fans of the original that crap on it. Um, so this is officially going to be the last one. If I decide to do that, I will, but if I don't, it, uh, this will be the last one. So this is Uninvited Guest. This is the final song on the deluxe edition, and, uh, it fittingly is the final song that I'm going to react to. So uh, I don't know what this song is going to be. There is a playlist that has all the Disturbed Evolution um, reactions in. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see all of them as long as any other Disturbed reactions I decide to do in the future. And with that out of the way, guys, we're going to go ahead and check it out. This is the final song. I'm super excited, and I'm honestly kind of happy that I've gotten this over with because it's been exhausting trying to double upload this every day and sometimes failing. But... um. Let's get started. Okay, it's an acoustic one. Thought I was rid of you. Thought it was over where. Thought I was over where. Thought I love you. So, I don't know. This could be like Hold On To Memories where there's no actual drum well no it wasn't hold on to memories it was i forget the name of it i'm wait already gone i believe it's the one that didn't have um any sort of drums in it this could be the case but who knows uh, i guess i'll find out here pretty soon definitely thought the intro was pretty good i definitely if there's one thing i can give this credit for is they definitely have a good acoustic sound I just wish they would do more of it like A Reason to Fight, where it's more of an acoustic rock album, not just an acoustic album. Th that's just my thoughts. Um, let's continue. Did you from my heart kicked you out of my mind So nothing left of you wouldn't be left behind Ooh, Ooh. go pretty high there, huh? Taking up all the space, he just won't go away. Talk about an uninvited guest, apparently, is what this is. I don't know if it's talking about a spirit, an entity, a demon, or just a person. Who knows? I mean, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the lyrics. I've been trying to, like, listen to the music. I guess I should be focusing on the lyrics here since um, it's an acoustic song. Let's continue. Okay, so it sounds like he's talking about himself, um, or rather the, the, the darker side of him inside of his own mind is, uh, is the uninvited guest. That's definitely what it seems like this is about. Um, let's continue. You're still everywhere. You're still in every room. Now, who don't, I don't know if this is actually talking about himself. Uh, if, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, we're really only pausing this because of YouTube's stupid rules. Let's continue. go pretty high there can't he I hate doing this <sighs> I 
Let's continue. I've, already, I've pretty much already formed up my thoughts for this song. Um, but we're going to finish out the song first. Let's continue. Actually, no. We're going to wait a couple more seconds. Got to make sure that uh, this doesn't get taken down. Okay, let's continue. Okay. All right. Maybe my thoughts have changed on this song. Okay. I see what you're doing here, Disturbed. Uh, now keep that energy. Uh, we're only pausing this because of reasons that you guys already know. Wish I didn't have to do it. Let's continue. I hear violins, okay. Okay, that definitely was a little bit of a of a nice nice change of pace for the song. I wish more of the song was like that personally. I definitely like the uh, the acoustic, but they could have shortened that a little bit. So, uh, let's con uh I got to get longer pauses for this. It's not that I want to make the video longer, but I have to make the pauses longer because I don't want this to get picked up. And I also don't want to cut out any part of the songs. That's something that I will never do on this channel. I would rather have longer videos over um, parts cut out of songs. Let's continue. Seems like as soon as they got to you a good part of the song, they just dropped it off. Um, I definitely think it's it's an okay song. Um, if the pace would be better, that would be more optimal. Let's continue. Definitely is a little bit over. I do. I mean, you guys probably don't mind, but you might if uh, this video gets taken down. Um, simply pausing because of reasons I've already explained. Let's continue. Okay, guys, that was Disturbed's Uninvited Guest. Let's get into the thoughts of what I thought of the song, because I got some things to say. Not all of them are, are nice. Um, I didn't enjoy this song, um, for the most part. Um, I thought this song was probably... Uh, this song was definitely weaker than 
than un- not uninvited guests because that's what this song is. Savior of Nothing. That, that's definitely a better song over this one, I would think. I think that this one essentially was a cut song from the album that they really didn't know what to do with, but they just decided to throw it onto, onto the deluxe edition half-finished. That's pretty much exactly what it felt like. Um, there was no soul to it, and when it just started to get good, they just threw it away. When it, they actually had a good a good dynamic going with the uh, with the drums and the violin, they throw it all away. Yes, the the meaning is good. It's talking about the demon within your inside yourself, or maybe I'm completely wrong in that area. That's definitely what I got out of this song. When it started getting good, they just threw it away for something else for something they were doing. It was a snooze fest all the way through the rest of the song. Um, I guess this is possibly the song I dislike the most. But but with that being said, there is a good part in the song. Uh, but it's not worth listening to for to listen to 30 or 40 seconds of song when there's like four minutes and the rest of the song is just a snooze fest. I thought the intro was okay and they could have done that for maybe one verse and the chorus and then they should have went into... I uh, like um, sort of uh, a more complicated or rather more energetic verse and then finish out the song that way. That that would have been what I would have done. Um, but I'm not disturbed. They are the ones making the money off of this. So it's ultimately their call. I did not enjoy this song. I'm going to rate this about a seven. Uh, there was a good part in the song. But like I said before, it was it's not worth listening to the rest of the song simply for that one part. I'd be like saying there. That'd be like saying there's there's a bad movie that was threw together with no heart, no soul, um, half finished. But yet there's one good scene in the movie. You you can't do that with with a song. You can't do that with an album. You can't do that with um, anything, because it it shows. And I definitely think that this shows that they didn't really have their hearts and souls into this song. They didn't put everything they had into this song, which is what an artist should do. So with that, I'm going to rate this about a seven. Um, actually, no, I'm going to rate this about a six. I did not enjoy this song, but that was, there was an enjoyable part. Um, and for that reason, that's why it doesn't get any lower is because there was a good part in the song. I didn't want to tear into this song, but ultimately I have to be honest with you guys. And if I lose subscribers, I lose subscribers. If I get nasty comments or dislikes, whatever. Um, with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and end the Disturbed Evolution reaction. Um, kind of kind of a bad song to end it on because I definitely did not enjoy this song. And I definitely, um, it's going to be a little bit more memorable because of that. But the rest, of the, so- the rest of the album is pretty much gold. I know the Evolution album is a bit of, um, is a, bit of a divisive album for the fans. They uh, claimed they wanted to make their Black album, which is kind of funny. When every band says that, it seems to backfire in their face. Um, I definitely personally loved this album, but I can understand why people don't. Um, So yeah, this is going to end the Disturbed Evolution album reaction. Uh, There will definitely be an album review coming, and I will summarize all of the thoughts that I have done in in these videos and put them all into one video and possibly... As I listen to the album in its entirety in order, things could change. And this could end up be by some miracle being my most loved song. But until that point, this is by far the weakest song on the album. Um, I definitely thought the remix of Are You Ready is better than this one. And that's... Uh, I, I normally like to crap on remixes. So with that, guys, this has been Christ. I will see you guys next time. If I have not said it, by the way... I'm sorry, this video is probably already really long. Um, I am doing a, if I haven't already mentioned it, I'm doing a Q&A for 50 subscribers. So if you guys want to be on that video, go ahead and drop a comment in this video, drop a comment in any of the previous videos. Um, I will be picking the best comments, the funniest, the per- most personal, anything you guys want. If you want to put a comment or anything, have any sort of questions about me, drop them in the comments section. I will definitely, this isn't going to be the last Q&A I do. But for now... This is my first one. I kind of want to get up as much questions as I can, which is why I've been announcing it on pretty much every video. So with that, now I will see you guys next time.